Is he ready? Yes. Sir. Okay, I'm going to call the engrossment rules, resolution, and credentials committee meeting to order. And Madam Clerk, would you call the roll, please? Alderman Vollmer. Alderwoman Howard. Present. Alderman Ornowitz. Alderwoman Green. Present. Alderman Todd. Present. Chair Lady Tyatt. Present. I need one. Four present. You have four. Okay, thank you. Um, we all, we're very sad, you know, Larry Arnold is a member of our committee and we just want to put on the record how really sorry we are about the passing of his daughter and he is uh, sadly missed today and um, I'm going to get out of here by 1030 so um, we're going to move it um, and I'm going to uh, excuse Mr. Arnowitz. I don't usually excuse people who don't come to committee meetings unless they get in contact with me. Um, I, uh, we're going to approve the minutes. I'd entertain a motion to look at the minutes and then make approve a motion them. to approve the minutes from the previous meeting last week, which was Thursday, October 30th. Okay, we uh, think we just have the 17th before us. Oh. Okay. Second. 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 Uh, October 17th. I don't have any. Do <laughs> you have anything? Uh, this one says the minutes of. Oh, we'll minutes. review. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't have this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what we have is the minutes from... Okay, no, I got it. Okay, here it is. October 30th, I'm sorry. Right. 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 Okay. Okay. So it is October 30th? Yes. Okay, all right. Make a motion to approve the minutes from our last meeting, October 30th, 2019. Second. We have a motion and a second. Um, Madam Chairwoman, I mean, Madam Clerk, would you call the roll? Alderman Vollmer. Alderwoman Howard. Aye. Alderman Ornowitz. Alderwoman Green. Aye. Alderman Tide. Aye. Chair Lady Tyus. Aye. Four aye votes. Okay. Okay, the next thing we have is board bill number 18, uh, introduced by Alderman Rody. It's an ordinance to approve the petition to establish the North, the Newstead West Community Improvement District. Um, and so I've kind of gone through these already. Mm -hmm. I hope everybody else is taking the chance yeah. to go through them. But we do want to give our new um, member a chance to kind of work with us a little bit. We're not mm -hmm. going to. So. This is the board bill here, the mm -hmm. first two pages. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's just, we don't have to be in agreement or opposed it or forward or anything, but this is just a board bill. And we look to make sure the board bill has everything on it. It's supposed to the page numbers, the date. Mm -hmm. Then it says at the back, it says it refers to Appendix A, which we already know there's Appendix A because you and I looked at it, okay, mm -hmm. on page mm -hmm. four of seven. Mm -hmm. Here, here's the fiscal note. We go through the fiscal note. It tells us who prepared it, who the contact information is, mm -hmm. okay, and then when you go to um, section A of the fiscal note, it goes through a, a series of questions. Um, if anything is blank, then we call that to question. Um, they have them all filled out as no. If there's a, a yes answer, they're supposed to explain what the yes answer means. Okay. So here's a letter um, to Dion Flowers, who is our city register regarding the uh, creation of the district. And then we have the attachment is the, uh, di uh, the petition. Whenever you do a community improvement district, you have to get property owners um, to agree to it, signature pages. So um, they have all the list of the property owners. And that's uh, Appendix A. Mm -hmm. Have execution pages. Mm -hmm. And Exhibit A um, does a, a legal description, and it's back here. I don't know, at the end, you keep going here. You'll see Exhibit A is a legal description of the property. Keep going. Ooh, that coffee is strong. <laughs> so this is a legal description. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then let's just go through that. 
and then it's a map which we'd like to have mm -hmm. which uh, our members have asked for and then exhibit B kind of explains what the purpose is and how it, the governance and the five-year plan Madam Chair, Board Bill 18, introduced by Alderman Rohde, appears to be all intact. I introduce this. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I accept a motion that we uh, board, vote Board Bill 18 out with a due pass recommendation for endorsement. So moved. Second. So we do previous, previous roll. roll. That's going to be your. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Previous <laughs> roll. Okay. Previous roll means we uh, take, but can we do previous roll on a. Uh, because mm -hmm. uh -huh. you did on a minute. Okay, right. Okay, so that means instead of us voting for each thing with previous roll, then we just use the roll so we don't have to keep voting okay. until somebody objects to Unless it. Now, knows. if you don't like previous roll, it's something you want to vote no to, then you say objection. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, well, just don't to, so I don't say anything if I'm I know. Okay. I, I, I got you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Everybody <know>. was new. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a good place to learn the rules. Right. This show is an excellent place. Okay. <laughs> so if you don't have any objections to previous role, I'd like you to say previous role. Previous role. Okay. I've heard a motion for to pass Board Bill 18 out with a due pass recommendation. A second. We have a uh, call for previous role. Any objections? Hearing no objections, Board Bill 18 is passed out with a due pass recommendation to be in gross. Okay, Board Bill 98 is a board, is board bill introduced by Marlene Davis. Um, it is the purpose of this bill is to approve the Olive West Community Improvement District in the 37 and 3800 block of Olive Street, which is all in the 19th ward. Sometimes we have improvement districts that might be in a couple of wards. Mm -hmm. So you have to have two aldermen working together, but this is all in one um, ward. So again, you're going through uh, the, the uh, board bill looking for mistakes, seeing if you see any errors, things that are missing. Mm -hmm. Here it uh, refers to ordinance 5, 6, 7, 1, 7, and 6, 3 on the first page. You go here and it refers to 65035. I always make sure that they have the ordinances uh, attached. If they don't, I'll make them attach them. But they do have them attached. That's one of the things they didn't used to do. Um, they don't have Appendix A attached. They said it's on file in the city registrar's office. Mm -hmm. And I want it attached, so we need to get it and attach it to this bill. Okay, I won't uh, hold it up for that, but I do like all the things so that in the future when people do research, they don't have to try to run around looking for everything. It's right there part of the uh, uh, the file. Let me see Madam Chair. Appendix mm -hmm. okay. um, the other thing that I don't find in here is the petition. As was presented to. That's what I'm saying. That's a pen, a, oh, where it says Appendix A petition filed in, yeah. in 8 of 13. Right, That's right. what I'm telling her. I right. want. And, and then the owners aren't listed. Right, there. exactly. All of that should be attached with right. that. Okay. Um, then Appendix B is the legal boundary. And we do have that. And then just as a side note, we have two. Um, ordinances referenced and they're in here but they're in two different formats and I think for <laughs> consistency we should have them in the same format this is just a I agree and so what I want to say to you is that those were done before we came on so those are old ordinances so we get them just as we find them but oh, okay. uh, you know when we attach old ordinances just how they did them is how we have to we can't change them okay oh. So, because I'm like, this is in a book, and then this exactly, is, yeah, I exactly. Just so maybe for consistency. I know what you're saying. I okay. mean, um, yeah. but we get them just as we find. Them. All right, <laughs> I can deal with that. Okay, but we won't have that in the future. Okay, with ours, because um, otherwise they would have to go through and type all these up. Is what I'm trying I get to say. It. Okay, we would have to spend a lot more time. So this one is old enough. We move this back in. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is old. If it's in the book, it's really old. Right.
you don't have to read every page. We're not uh, responsible for the content, just what the outcome looks like. package that was in this first bill attached to this, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, you're saying the appendix, right? Yeah, the one that talks about the uh, owners Petition. and the plat and mm -hmm. everything. If, if you want need reference, you can look at what's in this bill right mm -hmm. here. This one is right. good. See, this one has everything, everything it's supposed it. to. Yeah. Execution pages, this is where it's supposed to be done. Yeah. So that is all, instead of attaching it, they just filed it with the registrar's office. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I will let the sponsor know that we expect from now on that that be with her board. Here. And I think the exhibit, exhibits should be more clearly labeled. I mean, I'm and the, more clearly labeled of the exhibits. Okay. We just highlight them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, with the attachments that we've asked for and the, and the highlight of the exhibits, I'd entertain a motion to pass our board bill on 98 with the due pass recommendation. So moved. Second. Two pass. Previous. Previous. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Previous. So yeah. you move it, you have to second it. Without having to vote over, you have to ask for previous roll. Okay. Thank okay. You. Previous roll. Previous roll. Okay. Had a, a motion, a second. We've had a call for previous roll. Any objection to previous roll? Hearing none, board bill 98. Uh, is passed out with a due recommendation for engrossment with the addition of the requirements we asked for, the addition of the uh, plat and the owners, and also the highlighting of the exhibits. Okay. Now we have Board Bill 119, also by, uh, sponsored by Alderwoman Marlene Davis. And this is, uh, what is this? Okay. <laughs> It's regarding a rental concession agreement at the airport. It's changing it, it's amending the agreement. So that's what it's doing. And it's uh, regarding Avis rent a car, budget rent a car, thrifty, I guess all the rental cars that are out at the airport. Hertz, Alamo, National. I don't want to give anybody any airtime without all of them getting mm -hmm. airtime. And thrifty. Okay, and thrifty. <laughs> So on page two of uh, two, where it refers to the attachment, I would like those highlighted. So here's what I'm asking for. So that way, when they stand out, you know there's an attachment that is bolded. Okay. So this is on right here. So this is all the attachments. See see how you can't hardly see them? Mm -hmm. But if they were bolded like section is, they would pop right out and you would know to look for those. Mm Oh, and also, uh, the First Amendment should be a, uh, labeled Attachment A. So page two, right here, should be. It's on the it's opposite on the say, page. Oh, okay. They're, they're, yeah. they're all labeled. Yeah. All the lease agreements okay. are all labeled. Okay, I missed that. All right, yeah. so, right. We're not getting, we're getting, yeah. not, 
We're not used to having everything like that. I know, you but know. you know, by, by <laughs> being it on the front, the other page too. Yeah, yeah, right. This is the cover page. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see now. There. Yeah. yeah, right. They had the cover page for everything. B. Yeah. C. D. E. Take time later to go through if you want to just read those yeah, perfectly. Right. Right. Entertain a motion to pass out board bill 119. So we we'll pass recommendation. Second. So I pass uh, previous roll. Okay, we had a motion, we have a second. We have a call for previous roll. Any objection to previous roll? Hearing none, board bill 119 is passed out with a two pass recommendation being engrossed. And lastly, we have board bill 129. Sponsored by Alderman Arnowitz, myself, Alderman Green, Alderman Navarro, Alderman Rice, Alderman Ingracia. Um, and I thought you put your name on it, but did. okay. I okay. did. I did. I <laughs> yeah. don't know where. I'm, I'm sorry. It's not on this, but it's on the actual board bill. Okay. No. Wait a minute, is it? No. On the one that we have here, so I make sure it's printed out. But I definitely should. Okay. But it's supposed to be on there. Okay. I can, I can print it out. Okay, but what, so the question becomes, did we, um, did we, uh, no, we haven't third read it. Did we perfect it without his name? See, we can't add names after perfection. Um, well, it, it was perfected with, uh, he asked before. Okay. So I but, read it when I perfected But you did read yes, it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I did. Okay, because we got to be more careful with that because we start mm -hmm. to change things after perfection. Right. Okay. Right. All right. So, and Alderman Todd. All right, and this is uh, uh, to authorize the Director of Human Service to accept a grant award from Family and Community Trust in the amount of $35,000 from the No Kid Hungry Missouri Summer Youth Summer Special Grant Program. And to expend these funds as part of the City of St. Louis After School Meals Program and the Summer Food Service Program starting in the 2019-2020 school year. Had time to go over it. I, if we find no problems with board bill um, 129, I entertain a motion to pass out with a pre-pass recommendation. As so moved. Second. Pre uh, previous roll. We have uh, moved. And we have a motion and a second, and we have a call for previous roll. Is there any objection? Hearing none. Board bill 129 is passed out with a pre-pass recommendation. Make sure you add all the Todd's name. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Have any other business before the committee? Hearing none. Um, look. I do have a question. Oh, okay. Real quick. We haven't been reviewing resolutions. Because we haven't had any assigned to us. Oh, okay. So re a rules and resolution, it used to be all the, most of the resolutions came to resolution before, rules and resolution, they were sent here to make sure they were properly formatted and other things. Okay. 
But now people just send them directly to committees without that happening. I've had that discussion with the clerk and the president, so we'll see. Yes, so do all resolutions go to committees? They used to, except for a very few. They would have to suspend the rules and ask for it to go special okay. committee. So we're just taking baby steps. Okay. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> well, I, I know. I'm like, okay. I know. Right. It's a lot of more. Th it's a lot of things. A lot of things our committee should be doing. We'll, well work on them. Okay. We'll, we'll find work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this other thing. So. Um, some people have asked for a uh, move to Wednesday. We were doing Tuesday. And I just want to know what the majority of the committee thinks about moving to Wednesday. Wednesday is fine if we could do it a little bit later. Like what? If 11.30 would it, I don't have a problem with it. That's okay for me. Is that, 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 that works out because sometimes okay. people set other meetings at right. in town on other yes. committees. So 11.30 would be fine. I would have talked to Alderman Arnowitz, too. Okay. And then okay. if he says, okay, we're good, okay? Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know by Friday what we're going to do, okay? okay. Yeah. All right. Have any other business before us? No. Not. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. This, this, is, this committee is adjourned. <laughs>